fewer international students want to study in the United States. Numbers are showing a decrease of about 7% from 2016 to 2017, but is this trend affecting enrollment at Purdue? News 18's Anna Darling spent today learning about this, and she's here to tell us more. Hey, Anna. Hey, Jeff and Kayla. Yeah, that drop in enrollment is specifically hurting schools in the Midwest, whereas schools on the coasts and around the world are struggling less. And it's worth noting that international students contributed $42 billion to the U.S. economy last year. You look at the institution and you look at the community. These things are what Michael Brzezinski, Dean of International Programs at Purdue, says are most important when picking a university. Purdue's applications are strong as ever, very modest decline. Um, our graduate enrollment from abroad is actually at an all-time high. He says any decrease in international enrollment is actually intentional. We purposely um, targeted about 10% of our incoming class to be international. At one point, Purdue had the highest international student enrollment among public universities. Now it's at number four. I think it's about trying to create the best mix. But Brzezinski says students should feel welcome on campus. One place where that happens is at the International Center of West Lafayette. Carissa Orloff is the assistant director of the nonprofit. So we have a lot of free programs, English conversation programs. We've got Japanese, Arabic. Because of this, she says international students are drawn to the center. They feel like they could still be themselves in this community. Ji Hee Su and her husband came here from South Korea so he could study and research at Purdue. Great program. And here he could, uh, you know, focus on the research. Or Yuko Sakata from Japan. She says she does feel welcome in this community. Good place to live, you know, for international people. They definitely welcome them. Yeah. Great opportunities, sports events, cultural events, and the academic quality of Purdue is, in my opinion, second to none. Brzezinski says it is more difficult for international students to find permanent work here in the U.S. after they graduate, but that Purdue does have a staff of about 20 people to help them with that. Anna Darling, News 18. Right, Anna, thank you. The woman accused in the